What's up guys? Welcome back to Three Floating Fight Night, our classic constructed gameplay series of flesh and blood. Today we have Aiden on Dash. Whatcha? And we got Jacob on Max. Wow. Wait, who? You're not, you're not you Sam. Are. And as always, thank you so much to The Realm Games, our sponsors, we could not do this without you. And also, thank you to Fabric, a new sponsor of our Fight Night series. And as always, stick around to the end of the video for another giveaway. Without further ado, let's get into this classic constructed game. You're all right, not Sam. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm back, and today I'm gonna be playing Max the Hype Nitro, the three floating hero. I'm really stoked to be playing this hero, it's very near and dear to my heart. I think it looks a lot like me, and I candidly claim that it is I, so... It's me, come on. But we spoiled this hero, so it's really cool to finally get to show this hero off. The deck I'm running today is Daniel Correas' Nitro Mechanoid deck. It's really cool, I built my own little Max deck, and it was fun but really janky and this one feels a lot more streamlined i really love what he's been doing and the whole sunflower samurai team rocks big fans the deck is hyper driverless so there's no copies of hyper driver in the deck we're counting on red and yellow recharges boosting big bertha boosting a crankshaft once i can get an extra counter on my hyper driver tokens that really opens a window for me to put out my nitro mechanoid we're running pistol because it really just smooths out the deck with the high octane we're running some of the best static cards in the game throttle and zipper hit and with the new set we got one more of each in rev up and jumpstart so we're just running really really good static cards max gaining more resources with the hyper drivers it's gonna be fun so jacob's playing max he's kind of cool we got to spoil him that was really cool but you know who's super cool and the best hero in the game dash the reason why dash is the coolest hero in the game is because she can play so many different ways because she has a different game plan whenever we bring in a different item and the item today on the docket is past my main line. It's a little more setup, a little more mid-rangey, but allows me to have Teclacor with three counters, Pounder with four counters, and the new card Penetration Script for two guaranteed turns. That's the game plan. Set up items that stick around for an extra turn thanks to Plasma Mainline, and then rush him down with all their effects. Once again, huge thanks to LSS for letting us reveal this bad boy to the world. Without further ado, let's get started. Here we are, Max. <laughs> so I'm on Max, the Hype Nitro. I'm gonna read it off of this cold foil, uh, Max. Uh, once you return action, two resources, create a Hyper Driver token with two Steam Counters. Activate this ability only if you've boosted this turn. Hyper Drivers you control get crank. I played the new dash. It's time to go back to the roots. The OG. She starts with an item on the board and an item that I have been thinking about really since it got printed in Dynasty and trying to make work. You might remember Stupid Dash. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're starting with Plasma Mainline. On Pounder, that's scary. Four turns of Pounder? Why not? Three turns of Tech <laughs> four? Let's go. Yeah, let's roll. Same time? Yeah. Oh. Six. Oh. <laughs> 21? <laughs> 42? 24. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. I want you to go first. <laughs> also, shout out to our man is Wardy. I'm going to load Plasma Pistol, which you've stolen my gun. What are you doing? Why do you have my gun? Give it back. I stole it from your workshop when I was making the Nitro Mechanoid and you got your face on the art. Load Pistol, play out a Teclo Core. When an item enters the arena because of Plasma Mainline, I can tick down Plasma Mainline. It feeds a Steam Counter into my Teclo Core. So instead of starting with two Steam Counters, we'll put three Steam Counters on here. So three turns of two resources, pretty good. I think we'll finish with an Arsenal and pass. Nice. That's a bummer. Ugh, Teclo Core turn one with an extra counter. Super bad. He didn't attack, so he didn't filter my hand, which happens to be super bad. I will pitch this recharge for a zipper hit for four boosting. Yeah. Ooh, Max. No blocks. All right, take four. Take him four. One, two, three, four. Down to 36. Wise decision because I have no other good cards in my hand. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to use the one floating to oh. load my plasma pistol. That's my pistol. The pistol I stole. Then I will pitch two to max his ability. I have boosted this turn, so I will make a hyper driver and I will not crank it. So it'll come in with two steam counters and stay that way. And then I will just arsenal pass. Okay. 
Start of my turn. Teclacore floats me two resources, which we are going to use right away for a throttle. This is six boosting. Coming at you. Go again. No blocks. Okay. I'll take six going out of 34. All right. We're going to T-bone boosting. This is coming in for one point of damage. You need to block with some equipment, please. I will block with this galvanic blaster. Block him one. Bender. I will block with this galvanic bender. <laughs> so you got that. I like your mat. Pulse wave. Harpoon. Boost. I show three. Show three cards, please. This is coming in for <laughs> four damage. Reveal three, and then I can make you block with an action card with three block or less because of the three boosts I control on this chain. I will show you these three cards. A red zipper hit, a red throttle, and a construct nitro mechanoid. I think I want this one. Throttle? Yeah, you're still a ways away from that mechanoid. <laughs> And I don't, I don't want to be throttled back, so. Yeah. You're going to block three. Do you want to block more? Uh, Do you want to block with the mechanoid? I'll just take one. Okay, I'll go down to 33. Cool. All right, here's what I got. I got a chain close. Mm. You know you can still block with these? Yeah. I did not Plus know that. Yeah, for T-Bones I did not know that. <clears throat> yeah, not yeah. know that. <laughs> Teclo Pounder. <laughs> exactly what we want to be doing. This one is coming in with not three, because we're going to... Uh, charged up with the plasma main line, four counters, passing back. All right. So Teclacore is a good card. We all know this, but this turn it's super cracked because you get to play a pulse wave where X equals three and drop a pounder at the end of the turn with the glorious four steam counters. Three be gone. We're on to four. <laughs> <laughs> Starting my turn. I'm going to play out this high octane. I will pitch this blue zero to sixty. Boop. I will draw a card. I will throw at you a yellow 0 to 60 for three. Mm -hmm. Boosting. Magnetic shark point. Uh, gaining an action point. And you got three coming at you. Also, that'll trigger the hyperdriver because I boosted. I will gain a resource going to three floating. You got what I need. Three coming at you. You know what? Three damage. Vanilla. No blocks. Take three. One, two, three. Down to 33. I will pay one for a zipper hit for five. Boosting. Boost your red T-bone, gain another action point. So you'd actually be up to three because you start with Yeah, yeah. No blocks. Take five. Take five. One, two, three, four, five. Down to 28. I will shoot you with your pistol for two. What? No blocks on my pistol. Take two. Down to 26. I will close that chain. You probably don't want to load it again, actually. <laughs> then I will activate Tecla Found Your Heart. Go down to one resource. Okay. I will boost, boost. Or I guess not boosting. I will get three floating. You got what I, need. I will then load my pistol. Okay. And shoot you for two. Going down an action point. Okay. No blocks. All right. Take it to the face. I will then use my two floating to activate max with my final action point and make another hyperdriver. I will not be cranking it. Okay. So it comes in with two. He's making the drivers, guys. That will be my turn. I will arsenal and pass. Start a turn. Teclacore ticks down. I've got a combustible courier paying two. We're boosting. When I boost, pounder ticks down to three. That's going to give this plus two power. And we're now coming in for six. On hit, next boosted card on this chain gets plus three. Yeah, dude, this is so funny. Yeah? Like, yeah, the first thing I do just automatically gives me three floating. So, this combustible courier, this is where the mechanologist conundrum goes out the window. This is a really relevant on hit. I want to throw my equipment here for sure because I want to get the block out of it before I transform. I want to block out this combustible courier and one of my three blocks in my hand can turn into a six block because I'm blocking out this pumped three damage that the combustible courier is representing. I have this high octane in my hand, and if I just take all of the damage, this high octane turn can be around 16 damage, which is pretty good. If I draw blue, I have to draw blue. I don't love the variance in that. Or I block with the high octane, I play it a little bit more safe, and my high octane is still representing six life, six damage, because it's blocking the plus three effect from the combustible courier. I think, even though it's weird, because High Octane is a really great card, it's a six block right now. I also have a Nitro Mechanoid in my arsenal, and everyone knows this. I had to reveal it. 
uh, earlier in the game. It looks weird, but I think this is the best line. Okay, I'm going to block four, six. Ah, you got a new headpiece. It blocks for one battle war. <laughs> Zipper hit. This is for four, I'm boosting. Floating two. Yes! I boosted my pulse 50, so. <laughs> four damage. Um, I will say no blocks. I'm gonna take four. One, two, three, four. I'll go to 29. Sounds good. I am going to remove the steam counter <laughs> and hit you with a little pot shot. Oh, for 12? I wish. <laughs> That's in Bright Lights 2, Return oh, yeah, of yeah, Metrics. Yeah. <laughs> the Return of Metrics. Yeah. We're not doing any more heroes anymore. Yeah, it's, it's just actually, Bright Lights. It's just, it's just Bright Lights over, over and, and over. over. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Still the Welcome back to metrics. Still <laughs> metrics. <laughs> I will take two damage going down to really? 27. I'm going to arsenal. I will pitch this T-bone mm -hmm. going to one floating. Okay. I'm going to throw a twin drive at you. I'm going to boost twice because I'm trying to hit that big Bertha. Boost. Okay. Not big Bertha. And boost. Big Bertha. <gasps> So from Big Bertha, I'm gonna put this one to three. Then the boost will resolve. I will gain two resources. This one will die. I will go to three floating. You got what I need. And then five damage coming at me? And you have five damage coming at you. Bro. Bro. Why? Why? Cause I want you to die. Uh. You know what? We're gonna take it. All right. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this is right, <laughs> but this this could be cool. Nice. I will pay one and cost one less because I have hyperdriver. I will throw a jump start for five, boosting. Red zero to 60, that sucks. That's good for me. Dude, I've been boosting all red attacks. It's a good thing you're gonna have a mechanoid. No blocks. Take five. One, two, three, four, five. Down to 14. I will activate max. Paying this two and I will make another hyperdriver. I will not be cranking it. You sure? Please. Oh, I'm sure. That is my turn. Makes me wonder what's in that arsenal. You know what's coming, what looms overhead. <sighs> Ash, can you shall receive. Th th this is what we're playing for. Hitting a big Bertha. This allows me to end the turn with two, two steam counter hyperdrivers. So next turn, James White willing, I'll be able to get out a hyper driver and the nitro mechanoid. No way, dude. I can't win a single game against you. It is so hard living with such a good flesh and blood player. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, I know I need practice. It's just hard when you beat me up all the time. What? You think I need to go to the Realm Rumble? And you also think I should outline exactly what the Realm Rumble is in case anybody watching doesn't know about one of the biggest flesh and blood events of the year? Okay, if you say so. Realm Rumble 2023 is a first of its kind, independently organized, three day long celebration of all the biggest names in trading card games. If you love flesh and blood, then this is the weekend for you. There's going to be a $10,000 open tournament, a $5,000 team sealed tournament, and overall, $45,000 of prizes given out over the course of the whole weekend. If you like callings, if you like Pro Tours, and this is the event for you. It's going down December 1st through 3rd in Columbus, Ohio. Head down to the Realm Games' website, realmgames.myshopify.com to get your early bird registrations in, and we'll see you at the Rumble. All right. Three of a kind resolves. It's not working. I can't build the perfect deck. I got it! Guys, I have an idea. The ultimate flesh and blood website, where you can find synthesized data from deck lists from all over the world, and you can see which cards are played the most in each hero. Articles written by the best pro players in the game. Your deck building ideas, your strategic ideas can be realized in flesh and blood. Well, Jacob, we got great news. That all exists, dude at fabrec.gg. Oh, that's incredible news. Go to fabrec.gg and level up your game. Today. Today. Today.
Here's what we're doing. Start a turn, tech low core. It's going to float me two resources. We are going to T-bone. It's a yellow one, we're boosting. It's going to, no, <laughs> it's going to get plus two from Pounder. Coming at you for four points of damage, Pounder ticking down to two steam counters. And you need to block with a piece of equipment. So just give me the Foundry Heart. <laughs> I got excited and then I realized it's just bad for me. I will block for four. You don't want me, <laughs> you, don't, you sure you don't want two Nitro Mechanoids? That would be crazy. If you could be like, construct Nitro Mechanoid, craft a full suite of equipment, <laughs> play out a Wait, is it possible? Fabricate? You only have Fabri one three fabricate oh, though. You're one short. You're one short. Close the chain. I have now boosted, pay one, activating Teclo Foundry Heart. One, two. Two cards is two resources, so I am going to go to three floating. You got what I need. Teclo Pounder, paying two. I'm going to move a steam counter from Plasma Mainline onto this pounder. So this is coming in with four steam counters. Now you may be like, Aiden, why, yeah, why are you doing that? Achilles Accelerator. You've boosted. I got my action point back. I don't need to pay for it. I don't have stupid Cogworks legs. I got some <laughs> nice sneaks, bro. <laughs> nice sneaks. We're going to spark a genius. We're going to choose four. We're going to pay three more. We're gonna go grab pounder number three. I mean, if you were to get back into a game, this is kind of how you do it. Pounder number three. This isn't once per turn, right? It's just when. Damn. It does work how I thought. So this is gonna tick down to one, and that's gonna be another pounder. And you draw cards too, right? And I draw a card because I boosted. You're so right. Get to arsenal. Get an arsenal. Oh, I need to kill you. <laughs> You've never seen this many pounders in your life. You die. I'll draw a card. Arsenal, we're back to you. I will throw out this zipper hit for four. Pitching this zero to 60. Two floating, I will boost the Nitro Mechanoid. So good for you. I know. Go to four floating. These will both pink down because I have boosted this turn. Four coming at you. Block two. Crown. Draw a new card. Blocking two, two damage coming through. All right. Down to 12. I will then close the chain. Okay, bye bye crown. Activate Max, making another hyper driver. He's got three. I will crank it. So it comes in with two, but I can remove a counter from it to gain my action point back. Muy importante. I will then pay one to remove a steam counter off of Cogwork's base legs and gain an action point. You have so blue, don't you? I have two action points. Okay. I will then pitch this blue T-bone to go to four floating. Uh, I will then play out Construct Nitro Mechanoid. <sighs> So I'm gonna do some stuff real quick. <laughs> Nitro Mecha, it's Max, it's not Dash. Okay. Max built this. I, I'm, in the, I'm in the suit though. No, 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 no. But look who's on the art. So you're taking my pistol and now you're taking my sweet ride. I built it. You built it for me. I'm taking it back. Okay, well, <laughs> this relationship isn't gonna go the way you thought it was. Well, sounds good. I'm gonna spend one action point and banish a card underneath this, and I'm going to attack you for six overpower. You can only defend with one action card. All my cards are action cards, because I'm a mechanologist. But you know what I think we're gonna do here, bro? We're gonna show another new Bright Lights thing. One counter on Plasma Mainline, whatever. What I would like to do is, galvanize? is block with adaptive plating and galvanize. Oh, wow. That's I'm gonna what is galvanize. Destroy plasma mainline, which means that this is not blocking one, but it is actually blocking three. Taking three? Yeah. One, two, three, down to nine. I'll then close the chain. Yep. I will spend my next action point mm -hmm. banishing this Tekla Found Your Heart. Six and more. Six more coming at you. I block two. Take four. Take one, two, three, four. Down to five. Gary, that is my turn. Pass to you. We're gonna start things off. Zipper hit, we are pitching this blue throttle. Float two, I'm gonna boost. And one pounder, two pounder, three pounder, for a total of 10 big ones. This mech suit didn't just hit hard. It blocks hard. 
I will block for five. Give it back, bro. <laughs> uh, I'll take five. Okay, two, three, four, five. I got a 22. All right, I'm gonna close the chain. This gets a minus one counter. It do, please. <laughs> I'm gonna activate Foundry Heart, paying one, banish the top two cards of my deck. We're gonna go up to three floating. You got what I need. Three, paying one, boost. Three damage. No blocks, and take three. Okay. I got a 19. Bring that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> three boost. T-bone. Yeah, I will block for four. Three. Maximum velocity. Damn. I'll say no blocks, and I'll take 10 going to nine. Okay. I did my best. Show me what you've got. I will throw at you a zero to 60. Boosting a crankshaft. Aw. I don't have a hyperdriver. Okay, Mr. Warbucks. I will block. Ooh, three, four. I will pitch this magnetic shockwave for two floating for a zipper hit for five. Block three. So I'm taking two. Down to three. I will pay two. Jump start for five. No boost? Boost it. Maximum velocity. You are going pretty fast. I'm going to block three, take two, down to one. I will then hop into my mech suit. I'm gonna banish. Who saw it coming? These cogwork legs. Yeah. And I'm gonna hit you with six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bro. Damn. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The All Valley Karate Tournament Championship Trophy goes to its rightful owner. There we go. This is canon, actually, that I get this. Um, <laughs> this one, I really love playing Max. He feels like one of the very few in this game that's a true mid-range hero. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm stoked we got a win with Max on the channel. He really is the three floating hero. I mean, no one, no other hero gets three floating as much as Max does. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if they did that on purpose, James White, but... You son of a gun. You're so smart, you. Also, another shout out to Iswardi. This is super cool. Thank you so much. We said we'd run it back. I didn't think I was gonna be the one not in the mech suit. Yeah, Nitromechanoid is powerful. As we saw against Fi, it can claw you back from a game when you are down just a bajillion health. But now that Max is here, I mean, it just seems like his bread and butter. It's like, that was so cool. It's so cool to see a hero that we got to release into the world on our channel, doing all this crazy stuff. And the new mech heroes of metrics are all so unique and they play in such different ways. And I'm just super excited to see how their archetypes continue to be innovated. And what the Sunflower Samurais are doing with him is amazing. And I think this is the best baseline to move forward with Max. As far as Dash, she remains the most flexible and hybrid hero in the game. I think she is my favorite of all the mechanologists now that we've seen all of them on the channel. So I'm gonna be sticking on my old girl and trying to find out ways to innovate with items like Plasma Mainline and, you know. James White will it. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, all right, what a crazy game. We got to see Max bring out Nitro Mechanoid, really cool build on the deck. Yeah. Really excited to get into that myself. And so <laughs> I believe this belongs to you, my friend. Thank you, my good sir. Thank you so much for watching, and as promised, we're getting ready for another giveaway of a box of bright lights. Ooh, it's getting mecky in this metric city. <laughs> and you know how you're gonna get this box, which is brought to you by our lovely channel sponsor, The Realm Games. For this one, we're gonna show a little, we're gonna show a little love to The Realm. And in order to get this bright lights box sponsored by Realm Games, you're going to head on over to Twitter post a link to this video, say something about the video, maybe something about Max. But to qualify, you must be following both Three Floating and The Realm Games. The Realm Games has a huge tournament on the horizon in Ohio, December 1st through 3rd. We're, we're gonna, all gonna be there. We're all gonna be there. Uh, are you gonna be there, Julian? Also, this is Julian, guys. This is Sam's brother. I'm Julian. Yeah. I'm, brother. <laughs> I'm not actually Sam as much as we all might like to be. <laughs> He, he left us. Um, He's not gone. <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> I have not replaced Sam. <laughs> I'm just here today. <laughs> um, but so thanks for helping us out with the shoot so um, and being our replacement, Sam, for the day. <laughs> I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll catch you again soon. Yeah. Woo. Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood.